Hello Ouija'ers, I'm going to show you how to do C2 Underground Expedition and get rank 3 in the old clockwork. So if this video helps you, please like it. Leave a silly comment for the algorithm and don't subscribe to me. Okie dokie, so let's get started. Now there's quite a lot of secrets uh, in this. I did get this uh, rank 3 on this on my first try. Um, so it's probably not one of the harder ones to do, but there is uh, a couple secrets you can miss quite easily, including the one I'm about to do right now, which I missed the first time. I'm not sure actually what I'm going to get out of this because I just plainly skipped this part. But let's see what's in here. Nothing. Oh, golden beetle. Okay. That is worth it. Good stuff. All right, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Continue. We got to go over here. And put in this. We'll skip the cutscene. Alright. So I think we're supposed to go up to this bed. We need to get that rock off him. Wait till he's lifting it above his head, and then you can go ahead and grab him. Let's go ahead and grab this rock. What's this bed doing? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, we gotta get this guy too. Nice. All right, let's move forward. Drop that rock right there. And now open the door for us to get inside. I don't think there's anything else in this area. Actually, what? I didn't notice this last time. That looks like just a gem in there. Okay, so we don't really need gems to get high ranks. So I'm actually just going to ignore that. Uh, what's over here? Okay, I'm not sure if it's super worth it doing that. That thing reveals a bomb. So let's just move forward. We're going to get this thing. And just go through here. Alright. We're going to go like this. And then we're going to go this way. Okay, once in here you want to get a perfect score. Um, it's not that incredibly difficult, but it's really an important part of the level because it's going to give you a lot of points. Let's go ahead and suck this guy up. Make sure we get maximum points by getting the bar all the way full. Make sure you grab all the rewards because it will get buried in the sand. Now we're going to go ahead and release both of them at the same time. All right, so grab that guy. Don't get him yet. Grab the other one. And then get them both. There we go. Nice. Try and stay in the middle. There we go. Because the uh, the bills will sometimes go through the glass. Which is not good. There we go. Nice. See, oh, I thought the bills were going through the glass there, but it looks like it didn't. All right, so there you go. I got the maximum amount of points I can get. It's a very important part. You want to really ace that uh, because it's just so much treasure. Okay, let's get down and move forward. Okay, so there's a spider right here. Let's get him. And then as we go through, I can't remember what happens exactly. Yeah, that appears. There should be uh, another thing that appears there. There it is. There it is. All right, get that. I think there's only one guy, so let's just get him. There we go. Nice. Ah, darn it. Well, that's no good. Looks like the gems fell through the wall. That sucks. Oh, well, let's head through this door first. I don't actually know it. Now that I think about it, there's nothing really in here for us. There's a gem up there, but that's it. Don't really need to go in there. Okay, so let's go in here next. Uh, this is a bunch of barrels, but they're not... There's nothing in here that's important. What you want to do is you want to just 
pull onto this thing. Multiple times. That'll reveal the door. Good stuff. EGAD is going to bother you again. All right. Head into there, and that's going to reveal some stuff. Sorry, the camera's all over the place. You just got to watch this quick cutscene. All right. Now we just got to re refill those barrels. Let's go ahead and reveal both of them. Oh, there's one more left. All right, then we're just going to go ahead and grab this one. Oh, got away from me. All right, there we go. Got it. Oh, geez. Of course, I get hit by that. He's really going away fast. All right, good stuff. Let's keep moving forward. Can't remember if one of these is the bones or not. Yeah, that one's the bone. All right, good stuff. Let's keep moving forward. All right, so be careful here. Make sure you hit all the gems. Usually you would dodge stuff like this, but you actually want to hit the piles of sand. That'll give you some extra points. All right. Let's move forward. Okay. There's a couple gems right there in this corner. Need to pull on this thing. And then some bats will show up. There they are. Just go ahead and grab all their all the little money that falls from the ground. Okay. I think there's supposed to be more than one guy showing up. I think. Let's see. No, let's just grab him. Just as soon as I grab him, then more show up. I don't want to get them all. I just want them to be able to drop their shovels. Okay, now I can get at least two at once. It would be nice to get more than two, but oh well. Okay, let's get this guy fully charged. Make sure to get all the gems and stuff. It will disappear into the sand. All right, try and get more than one at once so you can get as many gems as possible. This is kind of another important area of the game where uh, there'll be a lot of enemies, lots of opportunity to get gems. All right, what else do we have coming for us? Is that it, or is there more? There's two of them there. Ah, oh, darn it. I'm gonna try and get all three of them, let's see. Oh, couldn't help but get those two that are just standing there. All right, there we go. That's a good amount of gems. Let's get this guy too. Nice. All right, now I think if we go up here, there'll be some more stuff to grab. Now, in order to get up there, if this is your first time playing the level, you have to use your dark light and it will reveal a boo. Okay, on the bridge, use the dark light on the bridge. See where it says the arrow? 
Okay, let's go through this door. Um, there's something here. It's really hard to see. But there's something you can suck up, this thing here. And then we can go ahead and reveal this thing. Which is just will give us another gem. And... Let's see what's in here. Nothing? Cool. What's in there? Okay, so a bunch of stuff. So make sure you use this chest and come into this area. Alright. Now... I need another one of those things. I can't see it though. There it is. Alright, let's use the fire. And just walk straight. Don't worry about any of the spiders. The spiders will just explode as you hit them. Just like that. Okay. There's something there. Why do I feel like there's something right here? There is too. I did not see this last my last playthrough. Oh no, this gem is stuck. Alright, well, I don't want to get it. I'm not going to bother. I think I got still well well enough gems to uh, get my three star. Alright, let's go ahead and open the tomb. Alright, make sure you flash them and then run out of the way. They're going to run into the wall, which will reveal a thing. You can go ahead and suck them up. Nice. Alright, two more. Huh, didn't count as bouncing into the wall, eh? Okay. Now go. You want them to hit the wall or they won't fall down. Alright, there's that guy. Zap him. Alright, that should be it. Then EGAD's going to call us, and I guess we're going to find out if I got my three stars or not. Pretty sure I did, because I think I got more points this time than my first playthrough, which got me three stars. Let's see. A lot less time, same amount of ghosts, a lot less, and even more. So yeah, there you go. That's how you get three stars. If this video helped you, please like it. Leave a silly comment for the algorithm and don't subscribe to me.